Hello, it's Sarah, and I went and bought something today. I'm now I'm sticking with it. Use what you have, but I felt like you know I went on my my went to my class in Maryland and I didn't buy anything. Well, very little. I bought you know anyway. I went and got this today. This FW pearlescent paints. Now these are thirty some dollars. Where's my receipt? I have it somewhere. Um, yeah, $34.99, but you, you get six of them, so six times six, is they're, they're about five, wait, my gold, I bought this separately at um, Hobby Lobby, six bucks for one, so when you buy them in a, in a set and then use a coupon, so this set ended up being $20.99, $20, so that makes them, what, six in the, tw so three bucks, three fifty each, so that's a good deal, um, and I also bought some boho stamps. I'm very much inspired by the whole boho thing that's going on. I'm just not sure where I'm going with it yet. But I'm going to make some ombre paper. I want to try anyway. I'm going to use some of these paints. I'm going to go with uh, magenta. Yellow. Let's see. Magenta. A little bit more because I'm gonna I think I'm gonna repeat it magenta yellow I'm gonna use this waterfall green which it's it's more of a blue green and what else this blue this is the fluorescent blue that came in it's not I keep saying fluorescent but it's pearlescent it's called galactic blue I'm going to put, I'm going to put it over here because I, I've been practicing and I've not been having such good luck, but we'll see. I need more yellow. And then it seems like when these colors mix, they're, they don't make mud. They're coming out okay. And I'm going to add a little purple, I think. This is called Moon Violet. It's Gorge. I'm going to add that to the end and we'll just see. Um, but I think I'm going to make some ATCs on this watercolor paper with the stamp sets I got, which I'll show you in a sec. So let me just, and I'm using um, a large flat brush. It's probably like an, a 10 or a, I'm gonna clean it out a little better because I don't want it to get muddy. Um, I don't know if it has a number. I've covered it up, but it's, it's a pretty big one, like a one inch flat, and that looks red. Why does it look red? It says processed magenta. All right, and I'm going to not make these too wide. Maybe just as wide as the brush. We'll see. Yeah, that's magenta. So I'm going to go with that. But I got it. You know what? I don't know what to do. I should be doing two at one time. Because I don't want to waste this. But I think I'm going to rinse my brush because I don't want it to get muddy, and then go into the yellow. Because what does yellow and red make? Orange, right? So see, I should get an orange. Oh, it total, I took away the pink. So I'm no expert at ombre, it turns out. And then I'm going to go into this green. And green and yellow, or blue and yellow make green. So see, there is some green. Then I'm going to go into this other, the galactic blue. And I mean, that's not really gonna blend, but I just like it. And then maybe add some of that purple down here. And then I'm gonna start all over. And I'm just gonna do that all the way down. And it's not really blending fully, like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not an ombre expert, evidently. But I just want it to look like a, because this this product line that re, re, um, recollections, right? It's called Color Splash. So when you look for those boho stamps, right above those, you'll see they have um, ink pads that are already ombre ink pads. So I'm I'm try, I'm inspired to to follow along with that and um, create some ATCs with this background using those stamps. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's looking pretty. 
It's looking very rainbowy, right? And I love rainbows. I mean, boho is really st uh, uh, a strong influence right now um, in art, and in, it's all dream catchers and arrows and um, what else? Like the elephant, the, it's like an Indian elephant, mandalas, right? And um, I've always loved that kind of stuff, and I guess I just didn't really know it. And so I'm very attracted to the color, obviously. I'm a color person. I love bright colors, so I just figured I'd get some while I was there. I went to get the FW paints, but the boho stuff is on clearance right now. Or not, what am I saying? It's on sale, 40% uh, off. So I got a couple of the sets. They, they also come with uh, a stencil pattern because it's very much about patterns like paisley or um, what is that other? It's a very Indian looking, I'll show you, I think I have, so let's see, yellow, I'll do this blue again. These pearl essence are gorgeous though, I'm not disappointed with them, that's for sure. So I'm sure I'll be able to... Um, get bring them into my artwork more often than regular color i love anything that shimmers and shines so so that didn't turn out too bad i wish i hadn't i just splashed that these acrylic inks are very fluid so um yeah that stinks that i just splashed that all right let me move it over because i just want to i'm trying to you know not waste my ink um, but they're very fluid, and actually, I can suck back up what's on my palette, but I might... No, I'm not. I thought I would, like, try and use these to stamp with or something. Um, looking for a baby wipe. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm going to clean up and cut my paper into ACTC size, and I'll be right back. All right, I don't, you don't need to see me cut this, but I want to show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the first try <laughs> at doing it. I love this, so I don't want to get rid of this. Don't like this. So the way I'm going to cut the paper is going to get me as much of the good stuff as I can get to make ATCs. Now, ATCs are 2 and a half by 3 and a half. So I'm going to take this to 5 inches and cut it. And I don't like that, so we'll set it aside. Who knows what I'll do with it. But now I can go um, two and a half. And that's the look I'll have. So this one, you know, this one has a little bit of yellow, green, and blue. But at least I got to use the pretty colors. Um, let's see. This is what? Now by three and a half. And I guess I could, I'm not going to be able to use all of it. Let's see, three and a half, right? I will, and I think I made that one, the other one a little. So I have that little scrap, but that's an ATC now. That's ATC size. So I kind of have the ombre. It's yellow, orange, light pink, dark pink. So, um... Then this one was a little big. I'm going to cut this part off. Three and a half. So same thing, yellow, orange, pink. Um, but on the other paper, so I'll cut that in a minute. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do a couple that way. But I kind of want to definitely do a strip of this way. So we're going to go two and a half this way. A little warpy, so I'm just making sure. And then three and a half, and I'll definitely get more colors in this one, right? So we'll go three and a half, and look at all that juicy color. Definitely. I mean, these aren't bad. 
nothing wrong with them. Like I actually really like this. Three and a half. Has a little bit of that yellow in it. I'll do this one. Three and a half. So you got them vertical or horizontal. Look when this one has purple and blue. And maybe it'll inspire the design. Look at that. Let's go with that. Three and a half. So look. So you can do it either way. But I got some pretty nice ombre backgrounds. I'm pretty happy. I, you know, it was a little tricky. All right, and then, you know what? I'll cut, oh man. I wonder if this is six inches. Yeah, it is. No, six and two and a half, three, wait, what am I thinking? It has to be seven inches. Boo. I can only get one if I go the long way. So you know what? I'll do one on this side because I, I don't really need that. Let's go. Two and a half. And this is three and a half. Um, so you get it, right? I just wanted to show you. So yeah, I cut off that little splotch that I didn't like, but I got four, like, dark blue, green, yellow, orange pink so I got a lot in that one which I think I actually I almost prefer the longer look than the across so I'll finish cutting these and I'll be back and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the stamp sets be right back all right so I got some really cute ombre effects here I did some on the hor horizontal horizontal and some vertical or you know vice versa so really cute really pretty um, I'm excited I think I want to try doing some more ombre on different types of paper because I have these scraps and to do collage water this is a pretty thick watercolor paper it's great for ATC's but look at this scrap I had this off the end of the page and it's totally gorge like to use for something right a border on something so I'm just gonna put them in my scrap bin and who knows what will happen alright so we'll set these aside um, so this is what I'm talking about when I say the boho stamps these are called color splash and my Michaels has them over like in the corner behind scrapbooking kind of near the candles and stuff anyway um, they have a whole bunch of stuff they have paper pads they have stickers they have washi tape I mean a ton of stuff but like I said they have the, the ink pads are right above the stamps and they're ombre stamp pads so what I was thinking like when I played with this one this one I got previously and it's just feathers but I stamped these out um, and I used, I did try to use at least two colors of ink. Like I have a lot of different stamp, um, stays on inks. Anyway, I'm going to make some ATCs using these ink pads and the stencils. So I'm going to open the ink pads using these stamp sets and stencils. They're $9.99, but they're 40% off. So I bought them. Listen. I've been on a use what you have kick, and I know I, I'm sounding like a broken record, but sometimes you get inspired, and, you know, ugh, I don't think these have names. You know what? Let me just tell you. Uh, nah. I just went by, and I mean, I'm sure it does have, like, a different number, but just get what which ones you like. There was at least six or eight or a few different kinds. So I will just end up putting these stencils in my stencils. Ooh, it looks like it has a sticky back to it. Oh boy. I don't want to use that. Well, we'll see how that goes. I don't know why it would have a sticky back. I'm just taking off my vest. I'm hot. It's getting warm. Alright, so but this is what I was talking about. Moroccan, like a Moroccan feel, right? Um, 
So I got that one, that one, and what's this one? This one looks a little more um, Indian inspired, like American Indian. And so here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling on them. So this one has dream catchers. I don't know if you can, you know what, I'll put a piece of white paper behind. Dream catchers and paisley flourish, dream big, some, some feathers, daydreamer, live your dream, may your dreams come true, because it's dream catchers, right? So there's that one, then this one is I love this sun, so I can't wait to see how that stamps out. But this is more about believe and adventure. You're my sunshine, there's a sun, and the little, uh, now this paisley and that paisley I could use on a prod, you know, um, I have, now this one, does this have a paisley too? Just mostly feathers and arrows, and it says, it's your time to fly and there's birds, the adventure begins. So, Wanderlust, it's a very free, like kind of hippie, you guys know what I mean. All right, so let's set them aside. The first thing I wanna do is get some of these patterns on here. We could do a few across ones, two. So we'll do three across ones and three down ones. I love that one, all right. So that's plenty for now. I can't work on too many. I'm thinking I'm going to sponge through these stencils, which I have to sticky back them. Why are they sticky backed? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, ugh, they're sticky. I don't know what you're supposed to use this for. There's no um, directions. It doesn't say. Maybe, see that? <laughs> but they're reusable. I'm just going to stick it on there. I'm going to do two, two, and two with these because they're sticky. I can lay it across two. Just so happens. You know what, though? See how these went across? I think I want to do um, up and down because these lines are very much up and down. Listen, I don't know why I think that. I'm going to do these two. I'll just do four. I don't want to get, oops, but I have three stencils. So this smells very like rubbery or something. Okay, I'll do those two with that. This one doesn't really have a directional pattern. There's like a piece of acetate, acetate, acetate. I'm going to do these two and then I'll do that I'll do these two with this one listen I don't know why just cuz they're sticky though and then these two with this one that works and I'm just gonna hit and miss I don't need to cover to get like straight coverage and I think I want to use gesso um, or white paint. I think I might just use white paint. This one's going to be, this one's going to have a lot more, um, I'm going to cover up the pattern on this a lot more. So I want it to be, see this is really smaller marks. So I'm going to use, what should I use, paint or gesso? I'm going to use paint. Um, I, I could do gold, but I want to outline. These, if you guys don't know, are my latest I think I've had these and I never used them. They're by Sakura and they're pen touch pens. And I got the metallic set. Joanne's had the whole big set, but it was like $22, but they're all metallic. And man, these things work great. Um, but I'm gonna go around them with metallic. So yeah, I don't think I wanna put gold, although maybe I do wanna put gold all over that. I'm gonna try it. All right, so let's do this one first. I'm gonna get out my gold, which I just use craft paint. I'll use a paper plate so I don't have to, or you know what, I'll just use this paper. And I shouldn't waste my paint, but 
And I just use a little cosmetic sponge from the Dollar, Dollar Tree. And I'll do one and I'll do one. I think it's going to be awesome. It might be too much, but maybe I'll just, I won't, I'm doing hit and miss. Like I'm not trying to be perfect. I think I want to do white too. We'll do one with white. And I mean, you could pick any color really, but I don't want it to be, I want it part of the background. So that's why I'm trying to pick, and I'm going to stamp it off a little. This is so pretty. I don't want to lose a lot of it. Kirby. Yeah, I just want it to be really faint. Maybe I'll just do two. I can't, I, if I'm doing a video, I have to think about you guys. I think that's going to be fine. So let's peel it off. Maybe I could put a little gold too. You know what? I'll put white where I didn't put white on this one. And where I mean where I didn't put gold. And then I'll put gold on that one where I didn't put white. So, so I ended up doing both. Stop, curb. Who knows what's going to look like. All right, let's try. Let's see what happens. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. So now what? Oh, you got to be gentle with these because you can fold, you can bend them. So which set, see I have no idea which set went with what stencil. I kind of like that it was adhesive. So look at that. Can you see? I want to keep going. I love that idea. A little bit of white and a little bit of gold. I'm going to keep going. But see what I meant by the pattern lines went up and down? I wanted it to be... And I didn't lose the ombre. I love it. Oh my gosh. So then what I'm thinking, I'm going to emboss, I think. Um, I may use purple. I have a really beautiful purple embossing powder. I'm going to do all these. So I'll go away and come back. Okay, so I'm, I actually didn't mind the stickiness. I mean, it worked fine. And I'm just going to put the ace tape right back on there so that I can... Um, put them away without them sticking to each other. So I got three boho style stencils and three stamp sets. So let's see. Now, and this is how they turned out. I love them. Um, so excited. This is exactly what I was hoping for. So this is the three patterns. You can see it a little, but I put a little bit of white and a little bit of gold. Let's go in a little closer. And it's subtle. I don't want it to be in your face because now I'm going to use the designs. So for each one I'd like to come up with a theme and so I may go away and maybe I'll do three and then I'll come back and I'll do them with, for you. Alright and then uh, that way I won't be thinking as much and um, I just did want to show you too. This was kind of what started it all. Um, let me go back out. I did make a video on this but I may not post it. It's um, this whole piece is is boho inspired. I saw um, a piece on I think it was Pinterest, and it was birdhouses. It was like these three tiny little birdhouses, and they were hand painted with little flowers that were very similar to these. You know, the kind of Mandela style flowers or doodle flowers that are very popular. So what I decided to do was, because I had this, this is the stamp set. These four little stamps are all I used for this whole thing. Um, first I was thinking that I would just be inspired or draw these or paint these myself on here. Then I thought, let me just emboss them and see how that works. And actually, it's all dry now. I varnished it. And um, I used uh, 
gloss varnish, which I love. Like when I'm using, when I'm doing Christmas ornaments, things like that, I love to put a gloss varnish on things because it's so pretty when it shines. Um, but I ended up, two sides of it I did with paint because obviously I had to paint the background. So I just used acrylic paint for the whole thing. And then when I painted in, because I embossed the shapes, these stamps, with black embossing powder. And then I came back with a tiny little brush and I painted everything. And I outlined some stuff with my Posca paint pens. And so they were sitting here and then I left it. I did two sides. I think I did the red and blue that way. And then, I came, and then when I sat down this morning, I thought, why am I coloring this with the paints? Because my Posca set, which I think I am going to order a couple more of these. Boy, I'm in, a, I'm in ordering mode all of a sudden, using what I have. But I have been. I just want to get an orange. Um, really, I might just get orange. Because that's really the only color that I didn't have because I used orange on here. Um, anyway, we'll see. I'm going to go on Dick Blick and see. But I ended up using the Posca, my fine point Posca pens, to color these in. And man, it was simple. Like, it was so simple. So I embossed everything with the black embossing powder. And even though I glazed, uh, gloss varnished it, you can still tell. So I love it. And then this side, I painted it literally like with my Posca paint pens because it was really intricate. So, and then I just added the white dip dots, which I think just finishes it off really great. A little bit of gold. Now, that's the other thing. I'm telling you, these gold pens, I went around this with the gold. It, they are so nice. Look, look at that. The line, it doesn't break. It just, oh my gosh. So anyway, I'm just going to put, maybe I'll put these ATCs in here. So anyway, that, that was what started this whole boho thing. I've been... I've been looking and wanting to do stuff and then I thought and I didn't want to buy these guys because but sometimes it's just easier to have the stamps when you want to do it because I could probably draw something or doodle something so you can too if you feel like you can doodle or draw or if you have feather stamps already or if you have a dream catcher stamp or you know any of these other a little sun maybe that's what you'll do because basically I'm going to do two of these with each one of these stamp sets. So I'll be right back and I'll, t I'll show you what I did. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, they're all done. And listen, there could be so much more that you do with them. I just really wanted to um, focus on the ombre effect and then using these beautiful um, designs from the stamp. So I embossed everything. I don't know why. I don't... Oh. I don't emboss very often, so I think I'm just I'm just trying to do things that I don't do as much. And uh, I mean, I think they turned out cute, you know. I don't know. I, I there were three. Um, what are these called? Dream catchers. I love the elephant. He's super cute. And the sun. And there's actually a moon face in there too. So I had to use your my sunshine. Oh, and then I used this is I didn't end up using the purple, the red, or the gold embossing powder. So there's, like I said, there's so much you could do. I really wanted to stamp these accent pieces with white, but then I had this sparkle. This is called embossing powder stardust, and it's transparent, but I don't know. You know I love my sparkle, so I just put that on as the accent and really just kept them simple. This one has more of like the flourish design I put little pieces of the flourish but it's in the sparkle and uh, this one I just put little birds you can't even tell but and I think I cooked them too long the the glitter might you know not need to be heated as long so I did that one first this one has arrows I wish I like and I don't have white embossing powder because I would have used white I think I would have went with black and white um, dream big. This one says live your dream. Looks like I could cook that a little more. But there's just an arrow and glitter there. Can't really see. And then this one says may your dreams come true. I like this mandala or the, the, the dream catcher with the hearts. It's so cute. 
and I used the flourish on that one too. All right, you guys, so that was fun. And look, I mean, I really tried to use every stamp that I could. I have to put them all back now, but I still have a lot of words I could use on this one. Wanderlust, Brave Soul, It's Time to Fly, Adventure, Believe. But I used a lot of them. I used most of the Dreamcatcher st stamp set. A lot of feathers. So it was fun. And I still have these left. So maybe I'll do some something different. Like some I don't I want to work with the gold, but look how pretty these turned out. And I think it's the um the what was it called? Pearlescent. The pearlescent inks really add that extra oomph to it, you know? So you can use some pearlescent and some flat. And they still come out super pretty. So give it a shot. All right, you guys? Thanks for watching.